All right, here's the next step. So my bins are all laid out. The sawdust and the poop are mixed together, and I've added um, the I've added water to get the moisture content. And here is my little moisture and pH reader. Um, and so my pH now in is between, let's see, this one's six and a quarter, about six and a half. That one's about six and a half. And about the same for that. So, um, pH is good. And now the next step is to put, to inoculate with worms. And so this bin is, these three bins are for 100 grams of worms. And so, now I just take this little guy, and I have a scale here, and so that's about 40 grams of worms, and this whole thing is a squirmy mess of worms in here. Now that's about 90, that's about 96, too much. Perfect. Okay, so now, next step, bloop, and that will happen to all the rest of my bins. Fifteen in total. Okay. Almost loaded all the way. But I've been checking, uh, pH and they're all about the same in all of them and the moisture content is right around the same and temperature um, it's going to be in a climate controlled room so I don't think that that'll be too much of a concern but I have a little cooker or a chef's um, probe thermos uh, thermometer probe so hopefully it'll work so that's it the next thing is to uh, store them in a in a dark uh, in a dark room with like as I said a climate controlled um, environment and then I think uh, every two days or something I'll be taking measurements um, with the E. coli um, culture. And then I guess that's all that's left. Okay. Uh, this is day three of the worm testing and here are all the bins. Um, I don't know what's happening. We, um, there's almost a complete die off of worms, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but, uh, the pH, moisture content, densities, temperature are all well within what is recommended, so I'm kind of baffled. But I thought maybe they were shocked, um, so I did add um, um, like 300 grams of food waste for them to um, hopefully stave off, die off, but it doesn't seem to have helped. So I don't know. Like there's a worm right there that completely dried up. There's some that are kind of still alive, but I don't know. Anyway, I keep trudging on. Okay, here we are with day eight of the vermiculture test. Um, there are the bins. We've had mass casualties along the way, but 
the mixture is starting to look a little more uniform. Um, and then there's just a few. A few. I'll be back to the <laughs> I'm making a video. Shut up. <laughs> I've been taking my measurements daily, so of moisture and pH and then temperature and stuff all the way across. And everything stayed well within the design parameters, but I had loss of life. But Anyway, we'll see what the E. coli test proves. Okay, first step is to weigh out one gram of waste. And then next step is to um, mix it with 100 mil of, actually 50 mils of deionized water. And then from there, it will be agitated so that it is in suspension with this little guy and then from there it will be put on a one of these petri films that is basically a culture that um, encourages growth for E. coli so there we go alright so after those samples are suspended in solution. I pipette out um, one mil of solution and then drop it onto one of these Petri film um, discs and then they go into a 30 degrees Celsius incubator for um, 24 and then 48 hours intervals. I record the E. coli. And so, this is what E. coli looks like on this stuff. These blue blue dots signify E. coli. And there's a good sample. And so they're all broken up into the different samples. This being uh, 5,000 dilution. And then these is my con my control B, C, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And then I just read them and that gives me an idea of how well stabilized it is.